I'm Ellis Martin, and this is Money Talk Radio. Join me for a conversation with Patrice Ra and Sylvain Lepine at the Energy Transition Metal Summit in Washington, D.C. Mr. Ra is the Director of Geological Information and Promotion at the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forest for the Canadian province of Quebec. In this capacity, he is in charge of managing geological information generated by geological surveys and mineral exploration work of the promotion of Quebec's mineral potential and of public awareness with regard to the mining sector. Working in the mining sector for nearly 25 years, Mr. Ra has been employed by the MNRF since 2001. He notably held the position of Senior Editor of the Quebec Plan for the Development of Critical and Strategic Metals 2020 through 2025, and Director of the Bureau de la Connaissance Geoscientifique du Quebec. In this capacity, he was responsible for planning and implementing geoscientific surveys throughout the province. Sylvain Lapine is the General Manager of NQ Mining Investment. He holds a Bachelor's Degree in Resource Geology and a master's degree in earth sciences from the Université du Québec à Montréal, and is a professional geologist and a member of the Ordre des Geologues du Québec. He also holds an MBA from the Université du Québec and Abitibi Témiscamingue. Well known in Nord du Québec, Mr. Lapine has been involved in Quebec's mineral exploration industry for over 15 years. Most recently, he held the position of Vice President of Exploration at Dory Copper Mining Corp. He also served as Vice President of Exploration from 2020 to 2020. 22 at Yorbo Resources. Mr. Lapine sits on the board of the directors of the Fondation de l'Université du Québec and Abitibi Temiskaming. Patrice, welcome to the program. Nice to have you here today at the Energy Transition Metal Summit in Washington, D.C. Thank you, Ellis. I'm also happy to be here and participate in this event to promote Quebec mineral exploration space. Thank you, thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here. Now, I'm going to ask you a question that I already know the answer to, but perhaps our audience does not. What is the province of Quebec doing in Washington, D.C. right now? Yes, it's the Energy Transition Metal Summit. So we're here to promote the development of the energy transition value chains, like the battery value chains and the mineral potential that we have in Quebec to bring more companies and investors to work in the Quebec province. We've had several discussions during the last few weeks, last couple of months, but I want to focus on something today very specific, and that's the lithium space. How and when did Quebec evolve along with the space into the exploration and development of lithium? As we know, in Canada first and in Quebec, we have a long history with the, the, the mining history. For, for a long time, everybody knows the, the gold, the copper, and this historical mining camp. It's very interesting because I'm from uh, Abitibi, and I, I know for a long time, and everybody knows from a long time, that uh, we had in the past a lithium mine in Lacombe, close to Amos. And it's a deposit that it was discovered in the early 80s. And after that, they did a little bit of mining and they closed in the 60s and early 70s. For a long time, we had an history with the lithium in Quebec. Right now, it's another game happened in Abitibi and especially in the northern Quebec. And we will talk a little bit of that after. But now it's a new story with all the transition we will do in the future. I think that everybody needs to understand that every time we say no to petroleum, we have to say yes to something else because we transfer energy from uh, the oil to the mining, a lot of, of, of mining, the lithium mine in the future. If I may add, in the past, the exploration f- for lithium was very localized, like uh, Sylvain said, in the ABTB region. But recently, we see that there's a lot more exploration in northern Quebec and more precisely in the EUSG James Bay area. And what we see is that the first discoveries are all along the main road. Basically, we went there and we found stuff just at the beginning and what it tells us is that there's a boom actually and still a lot of unexplored territory because there's just those roads that have been explored so there's a lot of room for new discovery so there's a lot of low-hanging fruit right now and you don't have to go too far to get it which means it's extremely economic considering the infrastructure that you've had there for many years exactly because we have well with the hydroelectricity which is one of the strong points in Quebec. We have renewable energy where those roads were constructed. So we can use those roads to explore uh, further north and in areas where basically in the past we didn't explore for lithium. Companies were going there to explore for gold or for base metals. And those pegmatites that are like hills, they make ridges or hills on the territory. They were used for lunch because you don't have as much flies, whereas there's wind, but it was considered 
they're like way struck. It's just right there. Yeah. You can see it. You can walk on it. You can climb it. You can not do a lot of damage environmentally getting it out of the ground at all, right? I want to discuss the Northern Quebec Mining Investment Initiative and what you do to contribute to companies doing business in Quebec that's so attractive. So if you're in the mining business and you come from anywhere in the world, anywhere in Canada, anywhere in Australia, anywhere in the world, you're looking at Quebec for the help that the government offers financially. And it's quite significant. Let's address that, Sylvain. Yes, it's really interesting. And in Quebec, we are very lucky because we have the complete chain of institutional funds that are able to finance the mining project from the beginning, from the early stage exploration, from the grassroots exploration until the construction and until the closure of the mine. So in Quebec, we are very lucky because we have a big player that SMA Quebec could help the big project to, to come through, <laughs> to finance the big project. But we have several institutional funds that could act between the exploration and the operation. And in the case of the fund that I'm the general manager, it's the NQIM, it's Northern Quebec Mining Investment. It's a brand new fund that was created by the SDBG and the ARBG. They are two regional organizations that are based in Northern Quebec and they create a fund to promote the mining industry in Northern Quebec. It's really interesting because it's a Northern funding for Northern project. And we have criteria of sustainable development. So we want to be sure that the company is going in Northern Quebec to explore for lithium or develop a lithium project that they follow the Quebec rules and they follow all the environmental rules too. And also they have to talk with the local community and with the, the native people that they are on the territories. It's really interesting how we could finance a lot of projects. And yes, you're right. It's a good place, Quebec, to come to explore for lithium. How much due diligence do you do in deciding whether to work with a company or not and invest in them? Really interesting at this time because it's a brand new fund. So I have a lot of requests from a lot of people, but we have some strict criteria. We, we just want to be sure that the project is good. We have some technical questions to ask to the people. We want to be sure that to evaluate the board, the, the project, the budget of the company. And after that, we could work with the other institutional fund to be sure that the company will have enough money to develop the projects. Now you have a long history in Quebec of working with the native people, the First Nations. I would say almost a 400-year history. And this is unique in Canada because the relationships in the other provinces, while they might be okay, they might be good in many cases, they're not as excellent as they are in Quebec because of that long history that you have. You're right. One of the main, I think, elements that distinguish Quebec is that we have long-lasting treaties with the First Nation. So like with the Crees, when we developed the hydroelectricity, we had to develop our relationships with Northern Quebec, with the Crees and the Inuit further north, and the Nascapis, which are the three main communities occupying Northern Quebec. Aside from the Inus that you have on the eastern side of the north coast of Quebec. But these three communities, we have treaties that dates back to the 70s. After that, we have other agreements that actually actualize our relationship through time. So that distinguished Quebec and that gives us more predictable conditions to operate in Northern Quebec than anywhere, I think, in Canada. And this is a very big deal, and it's really the theme here at this conference. You have a lot of friends here at this particular Energy Transition Summit here, and several of the companies that I'm familiar with, they work with you, and they're very pleased to be here based in Quebec, and not all of the people that run these companies are Quebecois. They come from all over the world to do business in that province, and in that regard, I'm aware of a refinery being built in Beca Cool. One of the first in North America. Yes. Actually, if we look at the lithium space in Quebec, basically the ecosystem is honored of for a commodity other than gold or base metals. What's going on with lithium is unique. We saw a claim rush where 151% of growth on the number of claims in Quebec, and most of them are in northern territories. Investment for lithium exploration went up 400% from 2019 to 2023. So it's incredible. We have more than 200 exploration projects now in Northern Quebec for that. We have four new deposits in 2019. Deposit resources, calculated resources. So it's incredible. And 
and an influx from Australian companies, also of major companies that have the capability to transform those metals and build those plants that we see in the Bécancourt area. Actually, there's more than one plant because we want to produce the mineral like the lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide. We also want to produce precursors for battery components up to the battery, actually. So that's why there's a lot going on in Quebec from exploration up to the battery value chain. As I understand it, this particular lithium refinery that's going to be built and online in 2028 is the first of its kind in North America. As far as I know, most if not all lithium is being processed and refined in China. So Quebec is really leading the world in this endeavor. I think one of the things that gave us this edge is because we launched our critical mineral plan and our battery strategy in 2019 and we were the first in Canada and maybe even in North America to launch such plans. So I think that's why the first plan is now being built in Quebec. A lot has changed in five years. I remember lithium was a hard sell in 2018 and 2019 and EVs. Not everybody was on board. You're right and the government also implemented incentive to buy electric cars and hybrid plug-in cars. So that's also part of the plan. So Ben, what else can we see with regard to investment and develop in the lithium space or in the battery metal space in Quebec? What's Coming. What initiatives have you taken that are forward thinking that really maybe nobody else is doing right now? Something is very interesting because with the lithium in, in 2020-24, for example, we, we come back the, the base prospection because these deposits are located at surface. So for the investor, it's really attractive because you don't have to spend a lot of money to find a deposit. It's not drilling at depth in the major central camp. So in the future, it will be very interesting to see all the discovery that will be done in the northern Quebec because the deposit is located at surface and it's not easy. It's prospection but the cost is low for the exploration. But in the same way, deposits are located at the surface but in the area that we don't have a lot of infrastructure yet in Quebec. So uh, the company needs to rent helicopter, they need to build some road. It's really interesting how we change the dynamic of exploration in Quebec. It's uh, really interesting. And there's many thousands of hectares to yet develop in Quebec, right? We're just oh, talking yeah. about the low-hanging fruit, the easy pickings right now. It's a huge territory and we have a lot of place to, to explore in the future. Yes, you're right. Then. If you have a message for our global audience right now and our domestic audience in the U.S., what would that be, gentlemen? I would say that Quebec is probably the best place to explore for lithium and for battery metals in North America. And it's also one of the best places to develop the battery value chain that we need in North America. And we want to be part of that adventure. And we know that we won't build every vehicle or batteries for all of America, but we can be a major player into the North American economy for the energy transition. If I could add something, it's a very good place, a good jurisdiction, the funds are there, but it's always important to remember that all the companies going on Northern Quebec or in Quebec to explore, it's really important to consult the local people and just to be sure to explain what you're doing, what is your plan, what you will do in the future, and in this case, the institutional funds are there and the government are there just to make sure that you talk with the good people and in this way I'm sure everybody will have a, a lot of success in Quebec. The company, the government and all the battery chain as you said. If I can add one more thing it's and we heard it here at the Energy Transition Metal Summit but we need that value chain in North America and like you said Quebec is in advance on many aspects like the construction of the plants, the mineral potential and its development, I think it's the place to be. And on that note, I thank you both gentlemen for joining me today at the Energy Transition Metal Summit in Washington, D.C. I look forward to seeing and visiting with you again in the future. Thank you, Willis. Thank you. I've been speaking with Patrice Ra and Sylvain Lapine, representing the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forest of the province of Quebec, Canada at the Energy Transition Metal Summit in Washington, D.C. Learn more about MNRF by going to quebec.ca. To subscribe to Money Talk Radio, go to ellismartin.com.